Hello, my name is Zeno the Computer Enthusiastic, and today I've heard that they have released the iPhone 11, and with iPhone 11, they released the new CPU called A13 Bionic. It's a brand new CPU with over 8 billion transistors, and it has speed and uh, battery saving. A new CPU, so exciting. Let's see. Thank you, Phil. Hello, everyone. Our engineering team at Apple has been designing chips for iPhone for over a decade. And today, I'm excited to talk to you about A13 Bionic, our latest creation. And we have touched everything. Now at Apple, we have the benefit of owning the entire vertical stack, the software, the system hardware, and the chip design. And we work together to optimize every block on the chip, all the way from the transistor up through the package design to work efficiently for iOS and iPhone. We've touched so many things and improved so many things in the A13 Bionic, but today I'd like to talk to you about two specific improvements, machine learning and low power design. First, machine learning. We use machine learning all throughout iPhone. And in our chips, our CPU, GPU, and neural engine are all optimized for different types of machine learning workloads. And in A13 Bionic, we made them all faster for ML, particularly the CPU. It, we added brand new machine learning accelerators in our CPUs. These accelerators are built to run matrix multiplication very fast. That's an operation that's used frequently in ML computation. These dedicated accelerators allow the CPU to process matrix math operations up to 6x faster, making the CPU capable of over 1 trillion operations per second. Now, as developers experiment on the bleeding edge of ML, the CPU can accelerate these nascent evolving models. In addition, the chip works as our latest generation of the Apple-designed machine learning controller, so that ML models can be automatically and seamlessly scheduled on the CPU, GPU, and neural engine, balancing efficiency and performance. Together with iPhone 11 Pro, this creates a fully integrated platform where developers can do some incredible things, like natural language processing, image classification in photos and videos, and character animation and people occlusion in AR apps. All of this makes iPhone 11 Pro the best machine learning platform in any smartphone. <laughs> the second thing I'd like to talk to you today about is how we lowered the power of the A13 Bionic. It is our most efficient chip to date. And here are a few reasons why. First, it starts with the transistors, the fundamental building blocks of our chips. An A13 Bionic uses an advanced, improved second generation seven nanometer transistor, the most advanced in the industry. And we carefully tailored each transistor for high performance and low power. And we did this with over eight and a half billion transistors. <laughs> That's the most we've ever put into any iPhone chip. But it's not just the sheer volume of transistors. To get both high performance and low power, you need great architecture. One example of that is our high, Apple architected high efficiency CPU cores. These cores are the most efficient place to run lightweight tasks and powerful enough to use most of the time, giving you great battery life. Finally, at the design level, we apply many, many low power design techniques to increase the efficiency of our design. For example, we have hundreds of voltage domains on the chip. So we light up only the sections of the chip that need to function at any given time. But that's not all. We have hundreds of thousands of clock gating domains. So we only turn on the smallest amount of logic in the chip, dramatically reducing power. The result is our highest performing, mo highest performing most efficient design ever. All of our cores, CPU, GPU, and neural engine are all up to 20% faster. In addition, at the same time as we move performance up, for those applications and tasks that don't need more performance in the A12, we were able to reduce the power of all our engines, for example, our GPU, by up to 40%. All of this translates to great performance and battery life for our customers. And in addition, combined with the thermal design of the iPhone 11 Pro, we have our best sustained performance ever. And that's A13 Bionic. It is our most efficient, most performant chip we have ever built for iPhone. We can't wait for our customers and developers to see it in action. Thank you, and back to Phil. Yeah.